Hello amigos, how are you doing today? As you can see, I'm on a rainy day, classic London. <laughs> today I'm gonna talk about an artist that every time I'm recording in this city, his heart keeps popping out and it's absolutely brilliant. His name is Sweet Tooth. Let's get started. He began tagging at age 13, saving up 50p lunch money and buying cheap spray cans to go out at night. His work evolved out of his street art, whether as a solo graffiti artist or in collaboration with others. Typical tags, draw-ups, and more elaborated street pieces became a whole language that informed his studio works. One day in crisis, after a messy breakup, he looked at himself in the mirror and noticed the enlarged and distorted imagery of his crescents of teeth. He was amazed by it because it was a visible part of our skeletal frame, a reminder of mortality. That day, Sweet Tooth was born. Sweet Tooth art is a mix of the 16th century Northern European Banites tradition of reminding of transience and vanity of life and the Mexican celebration of school imagery to accepting, honoring and celebrating death as part of the life trip. Today's mission is to find his famous pink gummy teeth around the city. I remember the location of a few of them. Some of them are pretty hidden, but let's see what can we find. First stop is obviously Brick Lane. I guarantee there's gonna be gummy teeth over there. people we keep walking and walking and I just found the first one in Sclater Street here in Brooklyn. Look at that. Boom. If you keep walking in this road you find art everywhere. Look at that. We got Pez. Yeah the artist from Barcelona famous one and look at these walls full of art and guess what? Guess what? In this building, it's a really old school one gummy teeth from him. Let me show you. Look behind. That's the number two. If you continue in this road, we have another big one here. We go him featuring his gummy skulls. One, two, and three. I had to come here early because they open the doors, they open the shutters and they disappear for the day. Unfortunately, taggers always ruining the pieces of art, but this is how it is, it's street art. Taggers will always going to be involved. Even the artists are aware of it, they know that's going to happen and it's part, it's part of being a street artist. Not far from those shutters, we have another beauty. Look at that. <laughs> You can see on this side we got gummies called like really old school English, like picky blenders style. sign of the shop we got another gummy skull dressing like a gentleman look at him it can remind me like a Braham Lincoln in it and then if you keep walking we got another massive gummy skull here look Boom, boom, boom. These are brilliant one. I really like this one. Have a look at this.
unfortunately, as usual, tigers are ruining the murals, but well, it's part of this. Let's go to the next spot. On this side, on this side we got another one. And this is a, ma a big mouth, as you can see. And it's taking the piss of that bagel shop. That bagel shop is open 24-7. If you come here around 1, 2 in the morning, you will see the longest queue ever. gallery and they commissioned him to pay this beauty we keep going here in Brooklyn sorry about the music it's not my phone but Brooklyn is loud especially on Sunday we go I got another one in front of me look at this Ta -da! But he looks like he's wearing braces and this one is straightening his teeth. still in Brooklyn, specifically Hanbury Street. Do you guys recognize that because I already posted a video of Mr. Sense. If you haven't seen it, have a look. Oh, Dale Green show over there as well. You should see that video. And I'm here because there is another Gumi too over there. Pow! It's pretty hidden, isn't it? Okay, I think I'm done in Brooklyn. Let's keep going. Okay, we just left the train. We are in Dalston Junction because apparently it's a big mural from him here. Let's go and have a look. I just found it, it's in front of me. Have a look at this. Let's get near there. As you can see, we got his gummy skull painting in a really traditional way in a canvas with the oil in a brush. In the middle, we got his classic gummy tits. This side we got Gomez called as a street artist. He's painting in a wall with a spray painting. Unfortunately, this one is being tagged. Ironies of life, a street artist being tagged. I suppose we can count this for three, because it's one, two, and three. So it's three more. I am currently in Rayan's canal. I'm cycling. And this canal will guide me straight to Hackney Wick. Hackney Wick is an area full of street art where Sweet Two has a lot of art. I just found a really old piece in the wall. It doesn't exist anymore, I just covered it. You can see it. But that's another one there. <laughs> you remember I mentioned earlier that one of those were pretty hidden? Well, you tell me, look at that one. I absolutely love that piece. We found another one. Ta-da! walking 
this candle towards Hackney Week, which I'm nearly there, you find even really old ones like I showed you in the past. But look at that one. Ta da! And we got another one. So nice to find this gummy teeth just really close to that one. As you can see, we got another one in blue. It's the first time I see that version. Can you see it there? So here we are. This is Hackney Way. Look at that one, that is absolutely massive. Another couple that are really even. Two is called gummy teeth. collaboration with Charis. Charis used his letters as bracelet for the teeth. Hackney Wick is the area where you can probably find the more gummy tooth around the city. And this is because T in here used to be his studio before he decided to quit the city and move to a lovely town back in Sweden. What do you think? Can we count those or not? I don't know, you tell me. Fuck it, let's count it. A long time ago, Sweet Tooth was part of Burning Candy, which was basically a graffiti crew. The members were Tech 33, Cyclops, Rowdy, and obviously Sweet Tooth. You see that beauty? That's one of my favorites from Sweet Tooth. It's amazing. It's literally a mouth in the top of a building. This is how I discovered him. I, I was walking in this area. I looked to my left and I saw that I was like, wow, who is this artist? I think to be honest, I already lost count, but let's see at the end how many we got. <laughs> this is a really nice surprise. A lovely sweet tooth sign there. Look, this is like the one I showed you in Brickley, but this time it's wearing a baseball cap. It's more a more modern kind of thing. Over there, there is one of my favorite pieces from this artist. Come on, let's go, I'll show you. so much because he actually used the form of the fence to make the teeth. It seems like they made the fence for him, he matched perfectly. For me, this is another level of interacting with the environment, proper street art. In front of that beauty, we have another one. We got another one right there. This one is a collaboration with my team mode. I found this when I was recording the Green Shop mural. You can see it there. Well, a boat there is a lower one, but it's impossible to get it with our drone. I need to get a drone, guys. You read that? It's definitely Hackney Wicked. I 
second one, which is amazing. Look at that, it's absolutely massive. This one is a collaboration with Cash for Smells, Mighty Mo, Lucas Price, and Gold Pen. We got a lovely collaboration with his ex-crew member, Napple. She is well known for her colorful pineapples. And beside this one, we got another one, which is brilliant. It says cash for, and every single letter has teeth. I think we're done for today. His art is bloody amazing, isn't it? I'm absolutely loving this dynamic. I think I'm gonna call it sick and fine. I actually can't see myself doing these kind of videos with so many different artists. Okay, let's count how many do we find. <laughs> Sweet tooth! From your art to my art, I'd rather see you next week. Adios.